Buddy Manning, licensed massage therapist. I'm going to go over a brief overview of the concept of trigger point therapy. Basically, a trigger point, the way I see it, is a group of knots in your muscles. Um, when you use a trigger point release, you go in, you want to use pretty firm pressure, you have the client inhale. Again, what this does is it allows the muscles to contract when they slowly exhale through their mouth. The muscles in the body relax, allows you to go deeper into that muscle tissue. Uh, generally with a trigger point, if it's a true trigger point, the way that it gets its name is if you're on the trigger point, once it starts to release, well, you'll feel it start to twitch and basically trigger and it'll release and that's one of the concepts of the trigger point release. So I'm going to have my client get back on the table and uh, show you just a, a quick view of some of the techniques that I use. Again, as I stated before, generally up in the traps, shoulders is where most people carry their tension. What I generally do is take my thumbs, start on both sides of the spine at the base of the neck, and trace them bilaterally and go over about two inches into an area called trap pits. Have the client take a deep breath and out slow as the client is exhaling slowly. You start using pressure to insert your thumbs into the trap pits. Basically, uh, to put it in layman terms, what it generally feels like is if you're pop popping bubble wrap, you'll feel the trigger point will feel like a bubble. As they start to release, it'll feel as, if, as though the bubbles are popping. And that's pretty much the concept. Um, trigger points can be various locations in your body. Um, the majority that I find are, as I said once again, in the shoulders, back. Um, it's just, it's very important to have your client breathe because, uh, as I said, it can be discomforting if you just go in and try to release the trigger point without them breathing through it. So if you find a trigger point, again, just kind of feels like a, a bubble. Have the client take a deep breath and out slow as they breathe out slowly go in. It may not release on the first time, it may not release at all, but generally if you hold it for a little bit then you can you can feel it slowly starting to relax. And then once you get it to relax some, you just kind of want to go with some basic Swedish moves. Again this is just to kind of get the blood circulating more get the oxygen and nutrients flowing to the muscles which helps speeds up the recovery.